In the pursuit of unlocking the drill force, Donald Lee Smith accomplished a profound feat. He built a device capable of extracting energetic potential directly from the structure of electronic circuits themselves, tapping into what some call radiant energy, but what is more accurately understood as the dynamic perturbation of the medium, the ether. His work stands as a living testament to the original vision of Tesla, harvesting free energy not by burning matter, but by engineering resonant access to the living field surrounding us. What differentiates Smith's device from the common Tesla coil seen in demonstrations and toys is the intelligent manipulation of the second manipulation of the secondary circuit and the extensions beyond it. Tesla's original machine was never merely a coil, it was a transformer in the true sense, a device designed not to transfer electrical energy through mechanical electron drift, but to agitate the dielectric medium into standing resonances, releasing forces vastly greater than the meager input. Properly understood, the so-called Tesla coil should be called a Tesla transformer. It is in this configuration that the addition of an auxiliary, or extra coil, a secondary extension wound precisely for harmonic multiplication, becomes essential. This is not simply an electrical appendage, it is a geometric extension of spatial field dynamics, designed to escalate the perturbations of ether into new orders of force. The modern textbook descriptions of Tesla coils are embarrassing relics of a broken understanding. They mutter about high voltage, high frequency phenomena without grasping the underlying mechanism. Some even attempt to shoehorn a fictitious self-capacitance into the secondary coil to explain resonance behavior, when in truth, no such discrete capacitor exists. These explanations are patchworks of mathematical superstition, not genuine comprehension. To properly apprehend the Tesla transformer, one must abandon the dead models of electrons orbiting imaginary nuclei and instead embrace the living field model, the ether, the substrate of all phenomena. The Tesla coil operates not because of any conventional electromagnetic induction but because it orchestrates rapid collapses and rarefactions of the dielectric field. The higher the rate at which the ether collapses and rebounds, the faster the oscillation, the higher the observed voltage becomes. Voltage, in this true sense, is not pressure of electrons, it is the dynamic rate of ether compression and relaxation. Thus, high voltage is potential energy, real, usable energy, even in the near absence of measurable conduction current. Voltage and current are not opposites, but dual aspects of the same fundamental ether perturbations. Current emerges not from a parade of electrons, but from the spatial gradient of the dielectric pressure, the gradient of the voltage field across distance, not simply its variation across time. The truth is elegantly simple, ether pulsations create distortions in the geometry of space itself. These distortions manifest as electric potential differences, resulting in what we observe as voltage and current. The so-called magnetic field is nothing more than a reactive curl of the ether's movement, an after-effect of dielectric agitation, not a separate thing at all. Donald Lee Smith's configuration masterfully exploits this by multiplying the divisions of pulsating phenomena within a unit time. In other words, the greater the number of discrete spatial fluctuations within a second, the greater the energetic density drawn from the field. The ether, when agitated at higher modal rates, delivers greater and greater outflows of potential energy. Meanwhile, the modern cult of Einsteinian relativity has spun a great deception, portraying the living field dynamics of space as space-time curvature, a sterile, dead abstraction, designed to sever humanity's understanding of the living breath of the universe. The E equals MC squared dogma is not a triumph of science but a veiled method of misdirection, obscuring the real physics of fields behind algebraic curtains. Energy is not locked in mass awaiting violent release, it is freely available through harmonious perturbation of the ether. Smith even designed variants of his generator wherein the Tesla transformer is reversed, rather than stepping up voltage, it steps it down, thereby increasing current density at the output, making the captured energy easier to condition, process, and use in practical systems. Modern electrical science, ensnared in materialistic reductionism, has utterly neglected, or deliberately ignored, this foundational principle, that overunity harvesting through Tesla transformers is not speculation but a mechanical inevitability when the correct field principles are applied. It was not theory to Donald Smith. In 1996, he built it, demonstrated it, and lived it.